to an extent, the reading culture of Nigerians is not too good. A lot of people believe that <laughs> every other thing is much more important than buying a book to read. Apart from the fact that people just want to read books for the purpose of um, passing their exams or going through school, hardly do people believe that reading outside that, um, that purpose still will help them to an extent. It's been full of ups and downs. Nigerians don't read, I dare to disagree because I mean we're 16k followers strong on our Instagram account, on other platforms as well, we also have a huge following. So if at all people are not interested in books in Nigeria, we wouldn't have people follow in the first place. And it's so exciting to find out that there are so many people outside of Lagos in deep core parts of Nigeria that are buying and shopping for us and they are just so excited that oh this book is locally available and it's sort of like within reach for them so it's been exciting it could be better but again we do it for the culture you do it for the passion and you know hopefully more stakeholders get ex interested in it and you know it gets better I got into selling books because I was very passionate about it and then I was hungry to find other people like me. I wanted to connect with them and the kind of books that fascinated me were not, I could hardly find people around who were excited about them as well. So at the time, when I interact with people within my age range, they're either talking about some foreign authors that write books outside of the context that I'm familiar with. So I wanted to meet with other young people, other people of like minds who were excited about the kind of books that I liked. And um, yeah, that was basically how it all began. And then beyond that also, I definitely used to go to some website online to find out what people are what books are I first to reckon with internationally and then most of those books are not available locally so I had to either shop from some big names out there and then I thought oh if these books are available and people are actually talking about them reviewing them perhaps there might be young people or people in Nigeria as well that would really want to read about them so I know bringing a few copies see if I can circulate within my circle publicize this social media and see how far it goes and so that was how it all started it's actually more like born of, out of inspiration and then the drive to bring books closer to people because some at some points that I loved reading I found it hard getting the kind of books I really always wanted to read so it was like yeah you could get this for other people and then it's been there for me it's been so I'm having fun doing what I'm doing and I'm, I'm the fact that I can have access to books too as a bookseller is fantastic for me yeah, it's been profitable. It, there's no, it's how you do the business that makes it profitable for you. So it's been profitable. It may not be the best of the businesses in, in, the, in the country or in the world, you know, especially maybe in, the, in this part of the world, knowing fully well the, the attitude to reading and um, education generally, but, and then even government's um, attitude to education, you know. So, but still, there are still people who know that Without education, they wouldn't be where they are. And then, even if they are not educated, they get the best of educated people to work for them. So that means education, which comes through reading of books, is a key and vital role in this life. It has enhanced reading, but what I realize is that even for those who normally would not like to buy a Bible before, you know, because of um, the ability to read their Bibles from their, from their phones. A lot of people are beginning to dump reading Bibles on their phones with buying regular Bibles because they've seen the importance of having to carry a Bible or read a, read a hard copy Bible. When people read from their phones, they can't, most times they can't easily go back or even highlight certain things. But with the hard copy Bible, they are able to do some highlighting, go back, make references and all that. So technology to an extent, it has its own advantage and its own disadvantage to our business. Advantages are the fact that people could you know, read at any time they, 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 they want to, in the dark, wherever. But disadvantage is the fact that it's handy you know, when you have your books on your, on your media, electronic media. But for those who still cherish the hard copy, hard copy books, they still come back you know, to pick up the hard copy box from us. A lot 
of Nigerians are writing more because virtually on a daily basis we get new books from Nigerian writers, you know, asking that Latana should carry their books. You know, it's, it's a bit challenging, but at the same time we try to encourage them, you know, to review their books and then accept it for display on our shelves. We still battle with issues of piracy. There are times where royalties are not paid the way they are supposed to. Publishing houses don't put enough efforts to promoting books the way they are supposed to. So that way books are, and people are not even aware that so many some Nigerian authors are writing really, really good books. I think sometimes more books written by Nigerian authors are sort of like accepted in the Western world better than they are locally and also. In terms of marketing, publicity, locally, more effort still needs to be put in place to help us combat issues of piracy and then ensure that people are, people are more able, able to access so many of these books as well locally. For book lovers, I say keep reading because you know already what you are gaining from reading. And then, and then for governments, give more um, 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 allocation to education. Allocation to education is very important and you can't have a government that just plays less emphasis on education and every year you expect your, your people to be better and then you know, there are fightings, there are any small thing, any little thing there is fights and you know it's, it's, all, it's all because of the level of exposure and education of the people and it's playing a role in every facet of the economy, every facet of the society because people are not well enlightened about their rights, about the opportunities that they can actually get and many of those things come in through part of education and reading is part of it. Thank you.